new videos every day. Psyche Truth. Life. Wisdom. Hey, Psyche Truth. Today I'm going to show you five of my favorite ways to give a relaxing scalp and face massage. I have my lovely friend Val. You may remember her feet and her gorgeous anklet from a previous video we did on introductory massage. So I'm just gonna repeat that move. I'm just gonna watch what I do. So I'm sliding both my hands underneath the occiput, which is the back of the head. So as you can see, my hands are kind of crossed over and my partner's head is completely supported. It's really important to breathe while you do this. Now it might not look like much, but the soft touch at the base of the head is deeply relaxing and a very, very powerful move for helping your friend or client come into their body. So Val mentioned while we were setting up that the color of the sheets, I guess let me know if you like the color of the sheets. It's so green. Anyways, she mentioned that it reminded her of Poison Ivy from the Batman movie. So anyways, we got to chatting about, you know, which Batman movie um, or movies are our favorite. I mean, is Batman Michael Bale or, or sorry, <laughs> Christian Bale? Or Michael Keaton, do you? So this is, you know, my, my third favorite move. I love the ear stuff. For relaxing. You're actually giving your brain a little massage. Kind of a good pro trick or tip is to notice when your client or person um, takes a breath. A lot of times if what you're doing feels really good, um, it, uh, the body will react um, just naturally with, you know, Releasing tension through mm, a nice exhale, a big yawn, maybe. Sometimes even um, sneezing is the body's way of discharging uh, energy, tension.
So one of the next things I like to do, or that you could try, is to brace your four fingers on the side of your person's head. And you do this on either side. And this allows your thumbs to really apply some exquisite deeper pressure, firmer pressure on the top of the head. So the bones of the skull are joined together with immovable joints, but they actually do move a little. They pulsate. in time with the movement of our craniosacral fluid that covers the whole brain and spine. And it flows ideally with a wave-like motion up from the sacrum to the occiput around and back down again. Mm, so at this point, I like to move on to the face. And so this is a good time to talk about, you know, you giving the massage, you being calm. trying to bring this back around to Batman because I really want to keep on talking about the Batman movies. But the Batman movies aren't terribly relaxing. Although thinking about how handsome Christian Bale is, is pretty soothing. Oh, or whoever's playing the new Robin. George, Joseph. Whatever. Juice of hot stuff. So I like using fingertips and just coming from the, you know, doing some eyebrow work and going up the forehead towards the scalp. And you can use some pretty firm pressure here, especially if you do, you know, like just one hand or both all, you know, with even pressure along all eight fingertips. And then you can come in and do some scratching. Yeah. Hmm. See, that is the magic. You know, you do just this, re all that really gentle, it didn't really seem like I did that much, you know, I just held the back of her head and Rubbed her skull a little bit. And just all that light touch really sets the stage for a delicious all over the head scritch scratch. You know, just be careful. Make sure, you know, your nails are, there's no jagged edges. Approaching the rest of the face, it's really good to, you know, notice I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing this. I'm not going, oh, poke, poke, poke. Let me get in your nose and personal eye space. Either come around the sides or you can come down the middle like this. I like doing nose work and then kind of moving into, whoops. And 
So you can start out gentle. You know, notice I've got my fingers kind of braced gently on the side of her face. Thumbs on the forehead. And this feels so good. Just this little curve right here. And sometimes you can even follow it kind of along the eyebrow. There's some really good pressure points. You and you out. All right, so. We're on the face now. Kind of dismantling some of the the stress mask with this eyebrow work. You know, you could do a lot of these moves at home. You know, when you're laying in bed and you're, as long as your head is supported, rubbing along the eyebrows, rubbing some of the pressure points here in your, on your temples. You want to think gentle and up. when it comes to face massage. So on the jaw muscle, I'm applying a really firm, gentle pressure. A lot of the times you'll be able to feel a ropey edge to the muscle on the side that's closer to the lip. And this is also something, as long as you do it evenly on both sides, other vowels, right jaw is a little bit tenser. Kind of moonwalk your fingertips along that line and you follow the cheekbone you can finish it off uh, finish it off up in the temples some firm circles. All right. Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the screen or um, who, your, uh, who your favorite Batman is. Make sure you subscribe to Psyche Truth, check out our Patreon, and follow all of my videos. I'm Melissa Lemonian. Check me out at Sensible Toolbox. Thank you so much.